When we think of influential films from the early 2000s, what tends to come to mind are action-packed blockbusters like Peter Jackson's The Lord of the Rings trilogy, All right, then. or romantic dramas such as Michelle Gondry's Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. I love you. Another film that might come to mind is the 2004 cultural phenomenon that was Napoleon Dynamite. Hey Lyle! Directed by Jared Hess, Napoleon Dynamite was an unexpected hit in comparison to the other films that were popular at that time. Dang! Hess followed Napoleon Dynamite with another hit in 2006, Nacho Libre starring Jack Black. Although the target demographic of this film was a younger crowd, audiences of all ages were able to enjoy Nacho Libre due to its hilarity, emotion, and quotability. Get that out of my face! Despite being an independent film director, Jared Hess was able to launch this genre of odd comedy and awkward leads into popularity, and he did this by drawing from his experiences of living in small town America to create these dynamic and endearing characters. When we look at Jared Hess's body of work, there is one major similarity amongst them, and that is the small town setting. Jared Hess was born in Nebraska and has since lived in Idaho and Kansas. This left Hess with a first-hand experience with the types of character you would find in less populated areas. Hess's very first short film, Cardboard Only, is based on his childhood, and it features a child seeking out entertainment in his middle-of-nowhere town. These seemingly pointless storylines featuring the mundanities of everyday life became a returning theme to Hess's work, which is perfectly exemplified in Hess's next short film, Peluca. Peluca is about a young man who skips class with his friends to go to a thrift store, where they find a wig. Peluca is also where we meet Jared Hess's colleague and friend, John Heater. Hess and Heater both attended the film program at Brigham Young University and collaborated on this short film. And although nothing of any real importance happens, this film was incredibly influential as it was then adapted to major motion picture, Napoleon Dynamite. I feel like I want to go. Shot in Preston, Idaho, Napoleon Dynamite features oddball main characters that are not portrayed by your typical glamorous Hollywood actors, nor are they your typical cool protagonist. Napoleon is joined by his odd yet supportive family, Uncle Rico, Grandmother Carlinda, Kip, Kip's girlfriend LaFonda, and a llama named Tina. The dynamic between these characters is actually very heartwarming as they're just a family of wholesome weirdos who actually get along. All of these subtle nuances of the characters come from their Idahoan backdrop. Even some of the scenes from Napoleon Dynamite were shot in Preston High School, where Jared Hess attended. This commitment to realism is one of the factors that makes this film so iconic. No offense, but you wouldn't find some bombshell in Preston, Idaho. Napoleon Dynamite follows the eponymous character and his journey to social acceptance. Despite being a classic nerd, Napoleon's good intentions are what get him to the popularity he craves as he helps his new friend, Pedro, run for class president. There was even a time where everyone was wearing the classic Vote for Pedro shirt. Much to the dismay of those actually born with the name. What makes Napoleon Dynamite such a dynamic character is his visible attitude and status change from the beginning of the film. Despite the geographical differences between Preston and Oaxaca, Hess is able to portray that same small town vibe in his film Nacho Libre. Sucks to be me right now! Once again, Hess dabbles in the storyline of a good natured loser whose dedication makes him honorable and likable. Nacho Libre is a classic hero's journey in which a cook for a monastery orphanage dreams of becoming a luchador despite the church's forbiddance of wrestling. Hess uses similar techniques in directing where he'll have a rolling landscape shot that emphasizes just how small the main characters are. Something else that Jared Hess draws upon is the importance of religion in a small town. I like serving the Lord. Jared Hess himself is a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of the Latter-day Saints and even worked on many Mormon films, so he has experience in religious comedies. Much like the dancing scene in Napoleon Dynamite, Nacho puts himself through really strange trials and tribulations to show his worth such as harvesting an eagle's egg from the mountain. It's this kind of quirkiness that you can really only get from a film with a smaller scale backdrop, and that's what makes Jared Hess so memorable as a director. Jared Hess offers a much needed break from the overproduced Hollywood glamour that populates the box office. Despite his filmography mainly consisting of mundane narratives, Jared Hess managed to create a successful directing career by reflecting his small town upbringing in his characters' storylines. This proves that audiences can still be captivated by little to no budget, small scale films if they have excellent character development.